Today we're going to build an electric motor from a battery, a small magnet, a piece of varnished uh, magnet wire, a couple of paper clips, and a plastic cup with some tape. So to start with, I'm going to need to make a coil. So I'm going to use my battery as a form for my coil. I'm going to leave two or three inches of uh, wire sticking out one side because I'm going to need this. And then I'm going to wrap it around the battery, taking care that the loops are side by side and not all jumbled up. I need to have at least about five or six loops, but I can go a little bit more uh, to seven maybe. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to slide this off of my battery. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to keep this coil together. So I'm going to start by taking one end of this wire and wrapping it around the coil to kind of tie it in place. Um, I really don't want to go more than about three times. And I was going under and out. So on the other side, to kind of keep the coil balanced, I'm going to go the opposite direction. If I don't do that, it's not going to be seriously uh, difficult to adjust. But anyway, so two, three times. There we go. Now, my coil is exactly opposite. Uh, my ends, anyway, uh, are exactly coming out of opposite ends of the coil, come out here and here. And so I'm going to use this coil to make my motor. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that one end of this coil is conductive, this one wire. It needs to be conductive so electricity can get to it when it's in contact with the paper clips that I'm going to show you in just a minute. So I need my sandpaper to sand off all of the varnish on this one side only. Don't do it on the other side. Just one side. So I'm going to place this on the edge of my desk here. And that way I can get to all sides. And I'm going to sand, uh, sand off the varnish. And I'm going to slowly turn the coil so that I can sand off the varnish all the way around the coil. Or all the way around the wire coming out of the coil. I need to make sure to get all the varnish off all the way up to the coil. So when there's no more red, when it's all nice and shiny copper, we're done. Now on the other side, let's see if we can zoom in on this and you can see. I don't know how well that'll show. You see it's shiny here and it's red further out there. So the shiny, that's the copper. Now on the other side. I want it to make contact, but only part of the time, because as it spins, it needs to turn on and then off and then on and then off. So I want to only expose one side of the copper wire, and I want to leave all the red stuff, the insulation on the other side. So the way to do that is to just set this down on the table and sand off one side and make sure not to turn it over and sand the other side. I don't want to do that. I only want one side to be sanded. So I'm going to do that right here. I still want to sand all the way up to the coil, but I'm only going to sand on one side. There we go. So it's shiny on this side and still red on the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to trim off a little bit because it doesn't need to be quite this long. You don't want to trim off too much, and you'll see why in a little while. But now I've got my coil. One side completely sanded, and one side only sanded halfway. The next thing I need to do is I'm going to assemble my battery and my cup. I've already done one here, so I've taped the battery to the cup, and I need to make a small little holder to support my wire, my coil, above the battery. And I'm going to do that with two paper clips. I'm going to do that by unbending the paper clip this way. And then I'm going to turn it like this so that when I put it on the battery, it forms a little spot for the motor to rest, for one of the ends of the motor to rest. So we're going to unfold our paper clip, 
like this. I'm going to unfold the other one the same way. I'm going to bend the center out like that. And then I'm going to bend it down like that. Okay, so that's what we need to do. Next, I need some tape. Any tape will do as long as it will hold the paper clips to the battery. I'm going to start on the positive end of the battery. I'm going to just put this right over a little button on the end. That'll help hold it. And then I'm going to put my tape on there like that. And then I need to do the same thing on the other side, point it in the same direction. And at about the same height, because this is going to support our coil. So now our coil will go across here like this, and it will turn. And as it turns, it will come into contact with the bare wire, and then it will turn a little more, and then it will not be in contact because it'll be touching the insulation. So as it turns, the magnetic field will turn on and off and on and off. Well, what good is that? Well, if you've got another magnet, then it will repel or attract as it turns on and off. So let's go on and put this in here like this. And we'll start it spinning a little bit. We may need to adjust our position here. Get them the same height. Now I've got these a little bit high. I want to bring them down oops, a little bit closer to my magnet. Need to make them even. There we go. Oh, stopped. So sometimes I have to adjust my little legs here that have the uh, contact with the wire a little bit so that they are uh, balanced. If they're not balanced, There we go. And if you can you can actually feel the force of it rocking back and forth. It really wants to to turn to get one side close to the magnet. You can see how it rocks back and forth here uh, because one side wants to be close to the magnet and then it shuts off and falls back down and then it shut, turns on again and is attracted to the magnet. So it's doing this little oscillation because it's touching the part of the wire that has no insulation on it. I'm going to turn it around and let it get going by itself. There we go. And it stopped. We need to keep adjusting this just a little bit. Now my bare side here isn't completely bare, so I'm going to sand off a little bit more of the insulation to make sure it's completely bare. And we'll try again. Oh, you can see it jumped there. Oh, all by itself. It just started all by itself when I set it on there. So that's spinning quite fast, a lot faster than you can see in the video. Oh, it stopped because my paper clip is not bent to hold it. So one of the questions you're going to be asked is how is energy being transformed here? So what kind of energy are we starting with and what kind of energy are we ending up with? So there are several transformations that are going on right here. 
and you should be able to identify those. Also, what kind of adjustments did I have to make to get this wire to spin? You see it's spinning right now. It's just about to spin itself right out. There we go. All I've got to do is just move this into position. And it spins quite well all by itself. But eventually it stops because it's rolling up the, kind of rolling up the, the paper clip. <clears throat> Make sure to answer all of the questions in your journal that you copied into your journal and make sure to draw a good detailed diagram of all of the parts in this motor so and make sure that every part is labeled <laughs>